guys, I guess, what's your overall philosophy on how many guys don't really know yet. I think each situation is different and, and, and it's all uh, particularly based on what you have there at the time. You know I mean? That's what we just got back in the, in, the, in the office today. So we're doing the evaluation of the guys. We're getting the defense and stuff together. So we'll go through that and then we'll we'll try to make that determination over a period of time as we go with through Coach Knowles and, you know, how he sees things and then what, what we have available to, uh, to do at that point. I don't know if this is or isn't the case, but as you went, started your coaching career and progressed, how much of it was a, a goal in mind or a desire to hope someday I get to go back and maybe do this in Florence? Well, it was always a, a fault, uh, but you know how it is. You take so many different paths, man. You know, it, it has to line up right to do it. You know what I mean? Sometimes it may be where you want to come back, but, you know, the opportunity's not there. Uh, so uh, it's always crossed my mind. Um, but when it when it when it becomes a reality it is, is, is a blessing um, but you know as you're going through it you just work hard you try to do your best as you're going and then you know you just kind of let it let it fall with where it may on that on that from that standpoint but it just uh it kind of worked out right right time and then like i said i'm extremely excited about it so when you get the for that first call from coach day and the possibilities out there an interview or whatever i mean it was going through your mind and feel pressure to come through this time well, well, no, it was just it was it was just a great opportunity. Because you know, when the first call comes, you don't you don't know how it's, it's still going to play out. You know what I mean? So uh, you just you just take it in stride, man, and then just say, hey, if the opportunity presents itself and everything works out, that you would love to do that. Because like I said, you're going back to a place at the end of the day is elite level football, and you're competing, and that's what competitors do, and and you get a chance to just do that at a place that you're very familiar with. So that makes it, you know, icing on the cake at that point to get a chance to do it uh, like that. Um, and like I said, and to get a chance to work for a great guy. You know what I mean? Uh, I know a lot of people that know Coach Day. I, it's the first time I'm getting a chance to work work for him, but uh, I'm excited about it, and I heard a lot of great things about him. So, you know, uh, that, that makes it a blessing, man, when you get, a, when you get to work for somebody that, 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 that you have great respect for, you heard a lot of great things about, and then, like you said, get a chance to come home, see a lot of familiar faces and things like that, man, and get a chance to win as you're doing it. <laughs> did, did your history at Ohio State make it easier to kind of dive into the recruiting, uh, like, recruiting for, like, right away for you? Or? Well, you know, the thing about it, recruiting – as you go out, some things never change with that. So you go back and you hit in certain areas. So, you know, before when I was uh, 12, 14 years, whatever I was in college, I recruited Georgia. I had some Ohio areas. I recruited Florida. So when you go out, you know, some of those same uh, guys are, are, are still around. You know what I mean? Or they know people that you know that's still around. You know what I mean? So it kind of, uh, once you get back into it, it made it a... Uh, an easy transition once you get back out there. A little different on certain things, but you know, uh, and then some people are, are are away from the game now that I knew back back then. But it's easy to get back into it, man, and get back on the road. And you start making, seeing people that you that hey, man, we worked together or, or, and, or saw each other out on the road 12 years ago. But has the I mean the brand or aura surrounding Ohio State changed at all? Is that easy? The same pitch as it was, you know, when you were pitched to come to Ohio State. Uh, I think it's probably done taking a, 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 a level higher yeah. at that point. You know, at, th at that point, you know, since then, you know, they've put several uh, national titles uh, since then, you know what I mean? And then the, <clears throat> the brand is the brand, but it's, 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 it's next level. Yeah. Now, you know, when you win championships and the, and, the, and the amount of Big Ten championships they've won lately and being in the national championship game, winning several of these national titles, it's a next level, uh, elite level deal at this point. Did you know Ryan Day at all before he called you, or you just got to know him the past month? Yeah, I knew of him, uh, you know, because of the fact that, um, um, you know, just my ties here with people that I know. Um, like I said, I met him before, and know, but, you know, I didn't know him really well, but uh, I, had, I had met him before and, and knew of him through, uh, through other people uh, that I've been around. So uh, it was a good opportunity, you know, uh, through people that, that he knew of that knew me. Uh, to get a chance to, you know, to get a chance to talk with him and be in consideration uh, for this job. What was it like <clears throat> walking back into this building, you know, being around the pro, just you know, from a different perspective, obviously as a coach. But what was it like, kind of coming back in here the first time, yeah. doing these yeah. things, walking through halls that you used to walk through stuff like that? It was great, man. You know, like I said, it's a lot different than it was now. You know, a lot more memorabilia and a lot more 
uh, you know, accolades and stuff up on the walls and in the building at this point. And then, you know, obviously they've upgraded a lot of other things over there in the building. But uh, it was just a great feeling, man, you know, to get back, you know, uh, on your old stomping ground. So that's always a good feeling. And again, I, I, I still take it back to the fact that you're doing it also at a place where you know you have a legitimate chance to, to compete and, and, and win games, you know. And that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? So it was a great feeling. Uh, I'm excited about it, so I'm looking forward to to working with the guys and getting to know and developing a great relationship with the players and then taking making a, a, a run at this thing. Was there any conversation with Urban about Ryan Day, about who he is as a coach, about why Urban thought he was the right guy to take over for him here, but then obviously for you to come back here and work with, with Ryan? No, uh, I, we didn't We didn't have those uh, conversations uh, at all because, you know, it, 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 our season was getting to a, a end down there. Uh, so, you know, things kind of scrambling and guys go, so we didn't get a chance to have a conversation, but we just knew people that, that knew of each other. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of where the dialogue started. What was that experience like of working with Urban in Jacksonville? <clears throat> oh, it was good. Obviously, everybody knows the, the, the situation that ended up happening down there uh, when they had let him go, but my experience with him was good. Uh, uh, it was it was fine, uh, you know, uh, coaches, Smart guy, man. You know what I mean. He, 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 I learned a lot of a lot of football from him uh, on things. So, um, like I said, didn't get a chance to, to experience the whole uh, uh, the whole season uh, with it. But the, the, the experience that I had and the time I had was was all good. Obviously, you guys, you know, had some trials in Jacksonville. You know, had some tough years. What do you maybe take away from that? Learn from that that you can now apply to being here. Well, you always take the good out of everything. You know, so the 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 the, the, the how to build a, a culture, you know, how to get, how to try to, uh, the things to do and not to do on trying to uh, uh, build a build a program or, or build an organization. And then the things you, that I learned is, you know, um, on the development of guys there on being able to bring experiences back to teach uh, the college guys that have expectations or dreams of playing in the NFL on the steps they have to take and making sure that you do these things and check these boxes so you can not only make it there, but to stay there for a long period of time. That's Tim, the key. Tim, I'm Tim May. I covered you as a player here way back when. I remember. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that good or bad? I'm just uh, What have you learned most in your journey, though? I mean, from the standpoint, especially in the NFL, that helps you right now. Is it just like, you know how to identify, identify problems quickly, you know how to identify players quickly. What is it just that you know now that you didn't know 25 years ago? The, the importance of a relationship. If you have the relationship, then that means you can go teach them. If they allow you to teach them, they'll get better. And if they feel that you can help them, they'll be willing to listen. But that all starts with the relationship. You know what I mean? Because if they if they have the relationship, because you know at times you got to coach guys hard. And if you have the relationship with them and then you coach them hard and they feel you can make them better, that doesn't change whether it's in college or the NFL. If they feel you can make them better, and the relationship is right, they are willing to listen. And if they're willing to listen, they're willing to grow and get better. And that's the dream of a coach, and that's how you want it to, to play out for you. Your first impression <clears throat> of Jim Knowles when you met him, I'm not sure you knew much about him until now. What, what, what just stood out to you? What stands out to you about him? Sharp. Sharp guy, man. Just, you know, in the, in the, in the small conversation, you can tell he has an elite uh, thinking mind. Uh, you know, so when you have a guy that's, that's real sharp, that's, that's, that's has a real high football IQ, um, th that, that helps you grow. You know, and you always want to be in a position as a coach that you're continuing to grow. Uh, uh, you know, you don't want to be stagnant. You know what I mean? So I know with the, with the stuff that Jim is going to do, you're going to have a chance to grow, you're going to have a chance to get better. And that's exciting, you know, uh, even as a coach. Yeah, you, and you personally, I, I can't imagine you being the, the source within the coaches room down in uh, Jacksonville. What went wrong down there with Urban and stuff? What did you just learn from that whole experience and stuff? And did you want to, did you personally want a fresh start somewhere else? I mean, what, what, how would you describe your motivation in the form of another return? No, I just go about my, my day as, 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 a, as a regular routine. You know what I mean? I kind of stay out of the way of all the extra that's going on. I coach and kind of stay in my lane, man, and then coach my guys, you know, and, 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 and try to make the team better and, and then develop relationships with the players. You know, all kind of things go on all throughout sports. You know, it, it happens in college and all that. And I think the more you just, I control the controllable and I work and do the things that's, that's asked of me and kind of stay in my lane with those things and then and, uh, and all the rest of the stuff works out. Did Urban seem frustrated though, as, as the year went on? What, what was just your take on that? 
No, I mean, not really. You know, everybody's frustrated when you don't when you don't win. You know, I was frustrated. You know what I mean? Because you want to win because that's what competitors do. I mean, so everybody wants to win because you do this thing to win. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, you do it to win. You want to have a chance to win. So when that doesn't happen, you know, obviously that's everybody goes through, through that part of it, man. That's the ultimate deal, man, is to, is to compete and to be able to win games. How do you think out-of-state recruiting has changed for Ohio State in, in 30 years, since 1989? Well, obviously they've just made so much more impact over that period of time of grabbing guys out-of-state in the Georgia and the Florida area because of the fact we've been winning, they've been doing well, playing in championships, winning the uh, – getting into the, the title game, you know, so that brand is just a uh, mega brand out there right now, you know, so it reaches a lot of kids. So the kids want to come join that, man, because the same thing, you know, they want to join winning programs and they know that when you come here, the expectation and the reality is, is you have a chance to, 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 to play for it all if you take care of the business and do the things you should do. That's a realistic opportunity, you know, so it's just been, it's just so, um, uh, so big now, man, with the fact that it's, 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 a, it's a big impact um, down south, out west, you know, other other places in the country that that uh, kids want to want to come here. So, what was it like when they came? Coach Cooper comes to recruit you, and at that time, when they had really it was more of a regional program recruiting at that time. I mean, obviously Ohio State. Yeah, a big but program, they had, but it's, but they were still starting to make that move a little bit. You know, what I mean, not to the point like they are now, but they were still because we had some, some 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 guys from Florida on the team and for Georgia on the team at that time, you know. So when we uh, uh, came came uh, came up here, you know, you still had uh, Bobby Olive. You still had, um, you know, guys from Florida. Uh, Cedric came in uh, came in a little bit before, but, uh, you know, uh, me and Foster Polk and guys like that, we came in together. We had, I got uh, Darren Lee from, um, uh, Darren Lewis from out in California, you know what I mean? So they had already had guys starting to come from different spots throughout the country at that point back then. Uh, so, but now it's just on another level. So I'm curious, just from your vantage point in the NFL, the last like six months, a year, college athletes are navigating NIL. Do you, do you see any similarities between maybe NFL players who have that already with maybe college athletes who are just now getting into it for the first time? Well, I don't really know because I don't. This is new. NIL is new, so I don't really know the details of that. That's kind of a, a fresh start for everybody with that. So I'm kind of just watching and learning as that part of it goes. So I'm really unfamiliar with, with, with that area. Have you paid attention to it in the last year? How it's gone and how athletes are kind of taking advantage of it. And a lot of people said the block up has a lot of power with it uh, to bring about bring about this NIL. Yeah, I, I watched it, but I didn't dive too deep in it because obviously I wasn't uh, in, in in college at that time. So, you know, now just getting back, I'm starting to learn it as we go. And then I just kind of take it day by day and step by step on on learning how all this works together and how it ties in. Tim, you've obviously got a long career in the NFL, last decade plus. Did you think, oh, maybe I'd like to get back into the college ranks someday? Or was it something specific about the opportunity at Ohio State? It's really the opportunity here at, at, at Ohio State. Like, this is a special place, man, you know what I mean, for me. Um, so um, when that opportunity came, it was just an, a, an excitement and, a, and it could be a blessing of opportunity. Uh, so it definitely had to take a look at that. You know, like I said, I, I played here. Um, uh, it's a family atmosphere. Um, you get a chance to win. You get a chance to compete at a high level. So when that opportunity came, you know, um, the brand is big. You, you know, and I think you can you can you can achieve all your goals from here, and you get a chance to you know to work with with young men um, that usually leave here and go play at the next level. You know, so you coaching guys that usually um, go on and play at the next level. That's the type of talent level that you're getting here. And then just getting a chance to come back home and, you know, doing that a place where you play for. So it's an easy selling point for me to kids because I know the roots here. I know the groundwork. I know the foundation. So it's easy for me to tell about, you know, the history and the tradition that's here. Uh, even though it's really expanded since I left and they've won a lot of games, a lot of championships. But still, I can go back and share some things uh, with you know, uh, new guys coming in on, on, on how it used to be in the, in the history and the tradition. Did you try to get back here before, Tim? Uh, we might have had conversations uh, before at one point. And that's why I tell people all the time, it all has to work out right. You know what I mean? They always have to work out the, the, the right timing to do it. But I can't remember exactly when, but I think at some point, because I've been on coaching for a long time now, man. But at some point, yeah, we had conversations at some point. Tim, 
That's Are they asked, uh, does it feel a little surreal being back in this building where you, you know, practiced and spent time? Or yeah, it does, man. Like you said, I just walk in the halls and stuff and just being back in here, you know, used to practice in here. So um, it is, like I said, it's, 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 it's special, man. So I'm, in, I'm in, in embracing it all and, and uh, looking forward to it and uh, just going to try to make sure I go out and do my best and, and work hard and try to give the kids and the young players uh, a chance to develop and help them achieve the dreams that they want to do. Thank you, Coach.